and today we are going to build the animal tower. So do you have your bag? Let's see what's inside of it today. We have straws, uh, we have tape, and this little plastic animal. What animal did you get? Rawr, rawr, tiger. Tiger, I got a rhino. On top of everything you have in your kit, all you need is a pair of scissors and you're ready to get started. You ready for this, Grant? Yep. Awesome. The challenge today is to make the tallest tower you can out of straws and tape. I'm gonna win. You're gonna win? Do you know what a constraint is? No clue. It's when you are limited to the materials that you have. People that build like towers and bridges and dams, they're called civil engineers. Some civil engineers have to build with constraints, like maybe they don't have access to certain resources. Can you think of someone maybe that lives like on an island or they live in the middle of nowhere and they have to build a tower or a bridge to get somewhere. But they have limited materials. Yeah, all right. So the other challenge is at the very end, once you build the tallest tower you can, you have to be able to balance your animal. your animal on top of it. So I tried this a couple of times before. Sometimes it worked and sometimes the tower just went because oh, the animal was too heavy. So you have to think, I have to be able to build something tall but also strong and supportive. Any solid structure is going to need a solid base. I want to do for my base a triangle. So I'm going to measure these straws and I want them to be even so that I have an isosceles triangle. Now what are you doing over here, Grant? So I have two straws that I squish the tip, fold it in half, and put it in the other one. And then after I do all of those, oh. then I tape it because it makes it much more sturdier. So the attachment from straw to straw is a lot stronger because one is inside of the other and then you wrap it with tape. Cool. I was also uh, going to show you an idea where you snip just a little piece of the straw and then you're able to stuff the other straw in there. That might be easier for some people. And I put the other straw in and then that way you have a really strong attachment there. And I'm gonna secure it, like you said, with the tape too. That way it's extra secure. This is hard to work with. It's harder than you think it's gonna be, huh? I had a much bigger idea in my mind and then I realized <laughs> This is going to be a much more harder. I know how you feel. I always have big ideas in my mind and I'm like, eh. No. <laughs> That's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Ah, my first Oh, cool. Thing. Okay, I have my triangular base here. I'm going to attach my stilts. I have three stilts. I'm going to use this part oh. and put it up here. See how it's a narrower triangle? Well then it will be kind of like a tower shape. Okay, but that's, that's what I'm gonna do. So I have a big triangle and a small triangle and maybe at the very top I'll just have another really small triangle. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. So with a regular building, what kind of materials might you have? Like you would Metal, cement, and wood. What's our house made of? It's made of like wood, rebar, cement, insulation, and all sorts of accessories that we've put in. And, <laughs> yeah. and lots of bricks. We forgot to mention bricks. Uh, yeah, it does have some of all of that, doesn't it? Um, back in the early 1900s in America, I know that they had a building, they were trying to make really tall buildings, and because they're all made out of brick, they had to be really thick at the bottom and then thinner and thinner and thinner at the top. Okay, so I have my base and I have my stilts. And um, if I kept adding stilts on top of this without anything here to secure it together, what would happen? They would just flop out, right? I have 
a support beam, a support structure right here that I'm going to put on top of my two stilts like that. And then I'm going to put some more stilts on top of that. I think everybody at home can just enjoy doing their own creation, right? Like they can just make it however they want. Yeah, I think, like you said, Grant, that trick of cutting your tape in half so it's not as wide, that's a really good trick because as I'm doing my um, attachments, it's a lot easier to work with. And it looks a lot better because then you don't have like a big clump of tape. Okay, here we go. One more level up. And Ooh. you're done. Oh, oh my gosh. What would you do if you saw a rhinoceros at the top of the tower? You would hope it would fall on you? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> because, uh... Because the rhinoceros is like, mm, it's like 2,000 pounds. <sighs> It'll crush your bones. Do you know what 2,000 pounds is called? A ton. A ton. A ton. So when people yeah, are like, it's literally oh, a ton. that weighs a ton, it's like, yeah, 2,000 pounds. My tower's pretty tall, but I still need to balance my rhinoceros right here on the top. So I have the big triangle at the bottom, medium triangle, and then the small triangle at the top. I have one little piece of straw left. So with that, I'm going to cut it in half and attach it to this platform on top. Okay, here we go, rhinoceros. Oh no! That rhinoceros is ha having a lot of problems. This rhinoceros is having a hard day. <gasps> Yay! Mine's almost as tall as yours. Oh my gosh! Mine's you added. Go. Oh, you're gonna beat me! So the animal platform is here, but then you're adding your tower up there. Oh my goodness, and I'm all out of straws. I could try and build something with tape, but I don't think it's gonna beat yours. Okay, okay let's one. see. Mine is 32 and a half inches tall. Okay, Grant's gonna see if his tiger can balance, which very steady, very secure. I'm gonna measure yours, see how tall it is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, 40 and a half inches. That's bigger than a yard. Yeah, that's longer than a yard, good job. The buildings always have names, what would you call yours? Mm. The Great Prism. Oh, yours is the Great Prism? That's cool. Okay, mine is <laughs> the Tower of Rhino. One, two, but Grant and I have a little bet to see who's is earthquake proof and whose isn't. So we're gonna bang on the table. Here's a um, full. It's already leaning. I know, mine's already leaning over. But I just wanted to say good job today, everybody. Everybody's structure is going to be different. That's the beauty of it. And I can't wait to see what you guys came up with. Bye. Bye.
Are you okay?